Hey guys, Jason, JC316. Um, today I'm going to show you how to change the fuel filter on a 94 through 04 Mustang. Now, there's really no difference between the base, the GT, and the Cobra in these years. It's minor stuff, um, but the general idea is the same. So the first thing you're going to want to do when starting this job is you're going to want to relieve pressure off the fuel system. I've already got a fuel gauge hooked up because I was doing some diagnostics, but right there, there will be a little cap that you unscrew, and then there will be a, um, a valve core up in there that you press, and it'll fuel will bleed out, and it'll relieve pressure on the system. Currently, <clears throat> I got a little over uh, 30 PSI, 35 PSI, so I just got to press that button to drain my fuel pressure. Now, one way or another, you're going to get gas on you in this, so have some old clothes on. Just no way to avoid it. Okay, so once you've got the fuel system drained, you're going to want to raise it and put it securely on jack stands. Give it a good bump, make sure it's not going anywhere. If you're really skinny, you might be able to do it with it on the ground. I don't know. <laughs> All right. Once the rear end is secured... You come up here and you'll see the, the gas tank. And right up there is your fuel filter. Now here's where it can get a little bit different. The mount can be a little different. I think on the Cobra there's a um, it's a bigger fuel filter and there's a um, hose clamp holding it on. And there will be two uh, plastic clips here that slip out instead of the metal lines that you have to disconnect. So once you find it, you're going to want to take these little clips off. They just pop off. Yes. Pop them right off. Okay. Now this style, you're going to have to use a disconnect tool. These are your disconnect tools. You can get them at your uh, local auto parts store. They don't really run that much. Uh, let's see if I can find which one I need here. Uh, yellow's too big. And blue's too big and green's too big. All right, I gotta go get the proper tool. I'll be back in just a minute. Alright, we're back. Um, scratch those other tools. This one's going to take this style of fuel line releaser. You can also get it at the uh, local auto parts store. By They're running about the same price. We're going to be using the smaller end. I'll show you how to work this thing. It scissors open and then you clamp it over the line and you're going to want to slide it over and release the clips. I'm probably going to need both hands. Huh? No. Nah. And it'll take a little bit of work, but there's a little spring up in there you got to release. And then that line will come off. When it does come off, it is going to puke fuel all over you. Try to get out of the way. Do not get in your eyes. Safety glasses are key. I don't want to get my camera all fueled up, so I'll be back as soon as I get these lines disconnected. And you can see how it's going to start leaking fuel everywhere at you. You can try to get that out of the way and make it stop. But on this side, the tool fits a little bit tighter. You have to work it to get it up in there. But, yeah. Again, you just slide this one to the right. And then that'll pop right out of there. Again, I'm going to need both hands, so be right back. Okay, once the lines are disconnected, they can be kind of rough. Do not be afraid to manhandle them. Uh, now, the fuel filter, which is peeing gasoline all over me, uh, just pulls out. Oh. Now, your new one come here and so 
sometimes they have a flow indication on them. Yeah, they do. So, uh, you don't want to turn it to where the flow side is going toward the engine side. The arrow is going toward the engine side, and then you just snap it in place. And then the fuel line just fits right back over it and snaps in. I need both hands. But yeah, the fuel lines just go right back on there and just push them in until you hear a click. And you'll be done. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.